hello world and welcome to another session and in the previous one we just saw how to define a function and how to write one uh, so in the next one what we'll do is we'll do some basic task and we'll also see the difference between print and return okay so let's take a new file i'll just write 17 function and i'll just write 2 dot py okay so in this what we'll do is we'll just add two numbers so i start with the end first so i'll just write let's say sum of two numbers so this is how my function will be and let's say these two numbers are 10 and 20. I know the addition is 30, but still we'll just try to do this. So what we'll do is we are calling the function first. So Python will check whether this function is defined or not. And it will just say sum2 is not defined for now. Okay. So let's go here and define this. So define sum2. And we have to take two arguments. So let's very easily, you can just take A and B. Okay. And let's come over here and just say, c equals a plus b and let's say print oops print c okay so now what will happen you're defining a function sum2 in that it will have two arguments over here and it will just uh, add these two numbers or arguments or whatever it will store it in c and will just be printing c okay so let's save this and check so 17 tap key oops i have to write pi pi space 17 tap and enter so it says the sum is 30 just mind one thing this number and this thing has nothing to do with it it will just take its position so whether it's a b c or whatever whatever arguments you want to write it's totally up to you but the number of arguments is very important the name is not important but the number is so if there are two arguments over here it is necessary that you add two arguments over here. So let's say for example, I just take one argument and try to run this code. So it will just tell me that one required positional argument B is missing. Okay. So that you don't have to do. So you have to just check how many arguments are there. Let's say we'll do sum two again. And in this case, I'll just say skills is my first argument and cafe is another argument. So what do you think? Will it throw an error or what will happen? Mm, so let's run and see. So it gives skills cafe again. Like I told you, it doesn't matter whether it's a number or something. So this is a string. This is also a string. So you can add two strings. So addition of two strings is called as concatenation. So what is happening? This will just go over here and this will just take the position of B and A plus B will the value will be stored in C and you can print C okay so far so good next step is we'll just see what is return and what is print so i'll just comment this let's say i want to take the square of this entire number and print it okay so i'll just try to print so what i'm doing so 10 plus 20 so this will give me the addition as 30 and i am just doing the square of 30 so i should have 900 is the answer so let's try to run this Oops, so what happens, it does not give, it gives us an error saying it is none type. So what is none type, we don't know or something. So don't worry if you don't know. It is just, it is not returning anything. So it's saying it's none type. So instead, in the next step, we'll just try to return this. Okay, so let's take another function. So let's say define, let's say power of two. And in this we'll have a b c equals a raised to b and instead of print what we'll do is we'll return return c and similarly we'll just do power and let's take two simple numbers 10 raised to 2 so 10 to the power 2 so it should return 100 to me okay so let's run this and check what happens so control tilt go here and enter it does not give me any output so there's no output why okay just think for a second mm, did you figure it out okay why we don't have an output because we have not written print yet so what i have to do is i have to just write print oops now save and just run this so we'll have 100 as our answer so now the answers are same like it's okay so even if we have done the same thing over here instead of return if we just write print it will also work but the thing is print is very hard bounded value that means uh, uh, 
it's like okay if you're thirsty so what should i give you a glass of water or a drawing of glass of water so obviously i will be giving you or handing you a glass of water so that is what return does so return means actually giving some value and print means just like a tattoo or just like a drawing i cannot use that value anywhere i believe you understood this so now instead if i want to add 10 to this and run this so it will run so it will execute this it will take and now c becomes the value of the entire function so 100 becomes the value of the entire function and it is also adding 10 and then it is returning us the value as 110 so no errors in this case but in this case if we would have done star star 2 then it would have given us an or thrown us an error so similar you can give any operations over here so raise to 3 let's say so 100 raised to 3 so it will just give us 10 lakh or something or 1 million okay so i believe you understood what is the difference between return and this and in the next session what we'll see is we'll see about learn about default variables and we'll do a lot of different and difficult questions as well so stay tuned do like share subscribe to the channel and thank you for being here